Hello everyone, my name is Bill, welcome to my channel. Uh, today, this little discussion is going to be battery. Uh, this will be a, a quick, kind of short video, um, hopefully that is. But uh, basically the last couple videos, I think anyway, um, I've talked about... Um, using 12 volts on these uh deuce and a half so the problem is is with any 24 volt um system uh to get 12 volts it's it's a relatively easy process especially um some people like to think because there's basically two 12 volt batteries to you know wire it up in series to make that 24 volts which is you know that part is true and they believe that you can just you know come off of one set of those batteries to uh, pull 12 volts which again you can um should you no not if you want to keep your batteries staying healthy these like any 24 volt um vehicle which is going to be mostly you know big trucks they have a 24 volt alternator so it's putting out 24 volts that means it is charging one side of one battery to the other side of the other battery okay so it doesn't know how i mean your your power is just coming across so it's not going to charge independently 12 volts off of each battery. That's not how it works. But anyway, let's look at the batteries. All right, right here is your typical 24 volt battery setup. Um, these batteries are pretty new. You can see they're the these are the 31. Uh, whatever the these are the X. XHD31 commercial heavy duties. Um, but when servicing your batteries, you want to make sure because I had a meltdown. I you see this terminal here? I bought this at a truck stop. Um, I absolutely hate it because it uses little bitty screws um, holding this down. It does. I mean, it's worked. I've gotten away with it. Personally, um, I ordered those off of Amazon, and uh, those work much better. So, I would replace those. But I had a, another set of batteries, and I allowed the terminals to get loose. It melted the post off of the battery. This is an extreme amount of amperage coming through this. But anyway, you want to make sure on your system that these are good and tight for that reason. Um, to get your 12 volts, I have a 12 volt system in here, which is just basically running my cigarette lighter. That fell down. It was, it had some sticky stuff. I I just got to get my drill out here and put some self-tapping screws to hold that to the bottom of the dash where it used to be. But anyway, right there is just a simple, I think it cost like $12. I got it on Amazon again. Um, those things are sized by the amps, the amps that you're wanting to pull. I believe that one is maybe a five amp. I can't remember exactly. It's not that much. Uh, it, it may. It's either a five or a ten amp one. But um, but anyway, you wire that up, and I have that wired up into the the main control. So as soon as I kill the the main power, everything is dead. I don't have to worry about leaving something plugged into my cigarette lighter slowly draining my batteries down because like many of these military trucks the reason why they they have that main power kill uh, is so when you when they're sitting there is no draw on the battery that's how it's supposed to be 
So anyway, because they're these they're designed to be sitting around, you know, because you know the military doesn't plan uh, on needing these trucks that much. I mean that that's the goal is to not have to you know need these trucks. So a lot of them sat around. <sighs> but anyway, I have another one of those step down um underneath the hood that are running my fog lights in the front and I believe the headlights were capable of 24 volt so I, I've just I've wired them up the, the halogens um, but anyway so like I said just because you can do something doesn't mean you should you know, if, if you gotta, if you, if you're in a pinch and you, you need to do it just to get home, perfectly fine. It's not going to do nothing to the batteries in that short amount of time. What's going to kill it is in the long run. These batteries are very expensive. I think those were like 160 a piece, uh, maybe 140 a piece. I think at the auto parts store. So they're not cheap. You know, nothing on this truck is, is cheap. Um, not anymore. You know, used to, you could go to the government uh, auction sites and you used to be able to get tons of parts for these things. Wheels and tires and everything. But no, people who are not hoarding, but people who are starting to sell these parts and starting to sell wheels and tires and, you know, they've been doing it for many years now. But they've ruined it for everyone that wanted to get into this in a cheap uh, manner. So even these trucks, these trucks, like this truck, you probably, you know, six, ten years ago, you could have picked this truck up for like three grand if it was running, you know, actually would start. Not going, just running. But, um, but anyway, you can't do that anymore. Not if you want a running and driving truck, you're going to pay, you know, on the low end of five grand if you can find somebody that just wants to get rid of it. Otherwise, you know, you're up in the eight grand uh, range, which, to be honest with you, these trucks are worth it. I mean, depending on what you're wanting to do with it, if you're just wanting something just to tear up out in the back field and to get it stuck, which I don't know why, personally, why anyone would want to get one of these trucks to use it in the mud they're not <laughs> they're not really good for that they're too heavy for one um unless you put the big tires on there and stuff like that but anyways um to stay on focus here but i've had these two batteries in this truck now for uh two years i think maybe three maybe going on three years and um Actually, no. I'm sorry. It's They've been in this truck for four years now. So, and I've never had to, I've, I've never had to put them on a trickle charge or anything. All I do, uh, at least once a month, I will come down and I, if I don't have to go anywhere, I will start the truck and let it sit there and run for, you know, 20, 30 minutes and, you know, shut it off. Most of the time, I can't just do that. I, I've got to take it for a little trip around the block, you know, around my neighborhood and uh you know let everything get you know good and run because anyway i really enjoy having this truck um the everybody loves this truck uh it's been to a couple car shows so the kids absolutely love getting in this truck playing pretending you know that they're driving it or whatever you know so Anyway, and I guess that's what I like about it, too. I get to pretend, you know, like I'm somebody when I'm just, you know, I'm just a normal Joe. Actually, a normal Bill. And anyways, uh, that's pretty much all I've got on this little ranting series, I guess. Um, maybe uh, the next video I will go over some of the tools uh, needed to own one of these trucks or what, you know, unless you just love paying out the wazoo to have someone else work on your truck. 
Um, again, if you like my videos, if you'd love to see some more, please subscribe, like, um, leave comments down there. I love reading the comments. Um, if you know other people who might enjoy these videos, please share it with them so they can also enjoy it. Um, but anyway, I appreciate everything and anything that I can share, um, you know, if you're thinking about getting a truck, again, leave a comment. Let me know what your questions are. And if it's a quick answer, I'll give you an answer right away. If it's something I need to make a video on, hey, you know, I'm not very technically inclined, but uh, I, can, I can show you uh, some of the painful experiences that I've dealt with with these trucks. Um, anyway, thanks. Uh, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video